fun. Raise your hand if you think science is fun. Like Bill Nye used to say, science rules. Right, everyone? I like that. All right, are we ready for science? Let's go. Woo. What do we have up first? So I brought with me lots of experiments, but first I'm going to do two science tricks. Oh, man, a science trick? So I like to call them science tricks because they oh, look like, that. like magic tricks. But oh. they're really science. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Does anyone like magic? Yeah. yeah. These science tricks look pretty magical, but I promise you, they're all science. Because I'm going to be talking about chemical reactions. Ooh, chemical yeah. reactions. I like that. Yes, yeah, so a chemical reaction is when two or more chemicals combine and they transform into something else. Oh. Yeah. We have chemical reactions that happen inside our body every day. When we eat food and digest Ooh. it, that's a chemical reaction. Does anyone ever eat any food? I, I think was a lot of people say. are eating food right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So for my first science trick, I have two glasses. And let's say for this science trick, I want to pour myself a glass of water. It's been a pretty warm day. But. Oh no, I forgot I have my friend Kelsey here. Oh, that'd I'm be here too. Rude. Yeah, that'd be very rude not to share my water. So I'm gonna share some of my water <gasps> with Kelsey. Did anyone see what happened? But when I poured my water into Kelsey's glass, it turned pink. Now, it looks like magic, but I promise you it's science. Wow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my third glass, and I'm going to add it to the glass I set aside for Kelsey, and let's see if we can get it to turn back into water. Let's see. Let's see. <gasps> oh, whoa. So it looks like magic, but I promise you it's science. I had a chemical in this glass and a separate chemical in this glass, and when they combine, it turns pink. That's pretty cool. Yes. Did I, would anyone else want to turn pink? I, I think might want to be pink to turn for pink. a day. Yes. Yeah. Now, and then when I added our third chemical, it turned our pink liquid back to clear. <laughs> yeah. All okay. right. So that's science trick number one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do another science trick. Another one. Let's uh, see. I'm going to pour water into this cup. Now, this is cup number one. Water's going to go into cup number two. Hmm. Here's cup happen? number two. <gasps> Wait a Where'd minute. Where'd it go? Didn't I just pour my water into cup number two? Did one of you guys take the water? Who drank oh, my I water? Oh, someone took it. All right. All right, so this is, so here's one cup. No water. Who took the water? Here's another cup. Who took the water? No water. Here's a third cup. No water. Where did the water go? Is it magic or is it science? It's science. science. That's because before the show, I added a special ingredient to this cup. What could it be? It's a white powder called <gasps> sodium polyacrylate powder. And when I poured my water in, it absorbed all of my water and turned it into this gel. Do you want to give it a poke, Kelsey? Oh, heck yeah, I do. It's like jelly. Has anyone ever eaten jello yeah. before? It's like but that, but do you want, slimy. Yeah. Do you want to know a fun fact about this gel? Yeah. Everyone here has probably used it before in their life. Well, what is it in? It makes adults' life a lot easier when there's a baby around because this it's the number one ingredient in diapers! Oh! Yes! So when sodium polyacrylate powder comes into contact with liquid, 
it absorbs it and expands and it, creates a gel. Yeah, it drinks all that water yeah. up. All right. But I just did two science tricks. Yes. With those chemical reactions? Yeah. <laughs> science trick number one was a chemical reaction. When we combined our three chemicals, it permanently changed them into something else. But science trick number two, uh, when we made our jelly, that's not a chemical reaction because if I add salt, the, w it, the powder will release our water and I can get all of my powder back if I wanted to. Wow. Yeah. Just with salt? With salt, yep. All right. Are we ready for another science experiment? Oh, yay. So this one, I want to teach everyone, this is a really cool chemical reaction. It's going to make something that I think everyone in this audience loves. But I want to tell you first about polymers. Ooh, so everybody, polymer. put up your hands like this. Oh, yes. Right, now make two circles like this. These are happy little molecules. Ooh, we and got there's something the called a polymer. So when those molecules link, so if you link your hands oh, like they this. they go together like a little chain. If you have a chain of molecules like this, you could have a polymer. And polymers can be used in a lot of things. My lab coat contains polymers. But something that I think everybody likes contains polymers. It's probably a favorite toy of a lot of our friends out in the audience. So I'm going to take a clear polymer called polyvinyl alcohol, and I'm going to add that first. And then I'm going to take this. This is our crosslinker. And Ooh. it's green, and it's going to make our long chain of molecules clump together. <gasps> All right, are we ready? So I'm going to pour some in and mix it up, and let's see if I can create a really cool chemical reaction. Whoa! Le what do you think this is, Kelsey? Did we make more slime? We made slime! Whoa! Slime is probably one of my favorite favorite chemical reactions. Oh, and it's green slime. Does anyone play with slime at home? Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, no. I'll get my slime off your carpet, but do you want to give it a poke? Oh, yeah, I do. I love slime because oh, my it's gosh. gooey and this. stretchy and bouncy. But this oh, is a chemical reaction goodness. because we can never change it back into a polymer. So it stays like that? It's going to stay just like this. All wow. right. Wow. Has anyone now, ever made their own slime at home before? Yeah, a few oh, people I have. I love making slime. That means all you're right. doing some science at home. You're mixing all those things together, right? Got little scientists all over the place here. So <gasps> now. What are we doing now? I'm going to add, I have some dish soap. So I'm going to pour that in here. Ooh. And I have some vinegar, and I'm going to pour that in here. So we've had a chemical reaction that changed the color. Yeah. We've had a chemical reaction that turned our liquids into something gooey and stretchy. But how about a little bit of an explosive chemical reaction? Oh, do we want an explosion? <laughs> yeah, we do. I know I want one. So I'm going to add a little bit of baking soda, and let's see if we can get it to bubble up. Oh, it's starting to bubble. Oh, it's bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. What? Can you see it? So what happens when those chemicals combine, they release a lot of bubbles. And because I added dish soap, it makes more and more bubbles. Yes. Does anyone like bubbles here? Probably like a bubble bath, too, or chasing them outside. Those are fun, yes. Now, if you put it in a smaller container and you add some red food coloring, you can actually make your very own volcano. Ooh, and it's going to go yes. rot. Using chemicals you can find in your kitchen. That's so cool. Yes. Now, this next one, this is a really big chemical reaction. This chemical reaction actually creates fire. Fire? Yes, fire. Ooh, so we probably have to be pretty careful yes, when working with fire. Yes, we have to be very fire. safe. 
That's why Tyrannosaurus Tish always brings her fire extinguisher with her. But luckily, this chemical reaction is just a temporary one. But when you combine glycerin, which is found in soap, and this one, this is potassium perm permanganate. It's a hard one. Yes, it is. It gets so hot and creates so much thermal energy, that's really, really hot energy, that it can create a fire. I don't know. Do, do you guys want to see it? No, they don't want to see it. Uh, they don't want to. They don't mm, want to see I it. I don't know. Do you oh, think it sounds let's like hear fun? it louder. Let's see how loud you can get. Uh, I think they want to. I think I that was a yes. I think our yes. friends want to see that. So for this one, I'm going to put on some gloves. Ooh, I like that. Safety first. Yeah, Got some gloves my on. And... Oh, we're gonna some fire. This is one that you should not try at home. But luckily, these are not things that you can normally find around your house. But I'm also going to put on my safety goggles to protect my eyes. Now, our potassium powder, I'm going to take one scoop of that. And I'm going to put it in the center of our tray. And then... I'm gonna pour our glycerin. So let's see. Some chemical reactions are fast, like combining our two chemicals to create our pink liquid or making slime, that was pretty fast. This one can take just a second, but it's pretty quick usually. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna very carefully add our glycerin to our potassium powder. And as our glycerin starts to penetrate our powder, oh, no. you can see, oh my goodness. Whoa. I would say it's a pretty cool chemical reaction, but I'd say it's a pretty hot chemical pretty reaction. Pretty hot one for sure. Yes. And now, if I want to very carefully make sure that my fire goes out, I can just put this pan over it. Oh, and it, yes. does it put it out? So what happens, fire needs three things to burn. Hmm. Let's see, we need heat. Heat. We need a fuel source. Ooh, some fuel. Mm -hmm. And oxygen. Oh, so, oxygen. By covering it up, I can make sure that it eats up all the oxygen underneath. And then once there's no more left, the fire goes out. <gasps> yes. That is pretty cool. Let's see, Let's see if that works. Let's Do you think see. that the fire is out? Yeah, let's take a look. I'm going to put on my special gloves that protect my hands from the heat. <gasps> All right. And our oh. fire is out, but it's still really, really hot. So when it's smoking like that, we definitely don't want to touch it. But. We've created a totally new substance by create, combining our two chemicals and that thermogenic reaction. It was pretty cool, huh? That was awesome. Has anyone ever seen anything like that before? We usually what? have to be pretty careful with fire, right? Yes, we do. That was pretty awesome. I have never yeah. just made fire like that before. Yes. So we created fire. We've created a little bit of a bubbling volcano there. We've created slime. Ooh, slime. And remember this one, this was our physical reaction. Oh, yeah. Because I yeah. can get my powder back if I really wanted to. And then we created a totally new chemical. Were those experiments pretty cool? Those were amazing experiments. Now, I can we give a big thank you to our second visitor here in the treehouse? Thank you so much for letting me come to the treehouse. I had so much fun today with you. Thank you so much, Tish. It was so much fun. Yes. All right, bye, everybody. Oh, that was it. I think we could do a better goodbye. Let's hear a big goodbye.